welcome to the Gnomecast. My name's Tarmac, and it's been a long time since I've been in here. This is the Scrollomance, which was a dungeon that was done way, way back in Vanilla WoW. I'm running through on the, the cheesy, easy version. We just got level 40 elites here, because I wanted to see what the new stuff was. They've basically gone through and revamped this zone, made it all nice and shiny and new. Oh... Error speech must turn off error speech. That is unacceptable. Okay. Oh, we can't cheat and jump down anymore. Awesome. Okay. So anyways, this is part of the Missipendaria beta. We've got a whole revamp of this zone. Yes, this is very different. So we get to see some of the new stuff that Blizzard has in store for us. One thing to be aware of, that it's very spoiler-heavy seeing this stuff. If you're, if you're not wanting to see this before the game, turn back now, lest you be corrupted. The armor is so much better on these. They've updated the different models so they're not using the cheesy old acolyte sort of junk. They've actually got... The, the good armor, the stuff that looks awesome. So we've got ourselves a Lich Instructor Chillheart who appears to be charging up some sort of a device which I suspect is putting his essence into because that's the only way that you can truly kill a Lich. So you've got to find that and destroy it. Let's see if this boss does anything interesting. Deadly wave of ice. Oh, well that's slick. There's the phylactery. So that's it, that's all. Nice and simple. It appears to have no loot at the time being. For the time being, if I was to be more grammatically correct. Take out some more Risen Guards here. Yeah, the layout is just, it's completely different. Now, what sort of lore reason you get to have for changing the entire layout of what is basically an ancient school? I'm, I'm sure they could say it's magic or something like that. I'm not really sure. But it is nice to see them using a lot of the new models as far as the armors and things go. I guess newer models. I mean, these things go back to Burning Crusade, but they still look a lot better than the vanilla stuff does. Let's round up a bunch of things here. So what is this? Like a giant black candle. Oh, maybe they fixed the reanimated corpses so that they... Oh, they don't come back. That's a little bit of a disappointment, I gotta be honest. The corpses that lay on the ground, and you can target them, but you can't do anything to them. Oh, yes, another neat little thing, if you haven't seen this already. There is area of effect loot. So we got two critters here with loot on them. Should be grabbing a bunch of stuff, and... Both of them are looted. Excellent, excellent feature for anybody that has ever done any farming, ever. Candlestick Mage. Most annoying thing about farming has always been picking up all of the junk, so you can kill a bunch of stuff and nice grouped up together. Excellent. Just loot one thing and you loot it all. I'm not really sure. I guess this is just some kind of ritual or something. I don't know. It's pretty badass, though. That's one hell of a giant candle, too. Maybe I have to kill everything. Oh, no. There we go. Jandis Barov, we meet again. You evil, multiple personality jerk. So she vanishes and... Oh, cool. That 
that's a neat little thing. So it's just like before, you had to find the real one. Because there was... Basically, it was like a, a mage mirror, mirror image spell. Or maybe it's not that you just have to find the real... There we go. Yep, you just have to find the real one and attack it, the whole thing goes. It's a little annoying. Huh, found the real one again. Funny how those two in the middle just haven't aggroed yet. This one does have loot. Ghost loom leggings. You know, I think that's probably the original loot table. I could be wrong. Those sound awful familiar. Now, this one is a little bit different so far than I remember the old Skullamance. The old Skullamance, you didn't have any sort of an, a requirement to kill one boss in order to move on to the next for most of these. You could just skip a bunch if you really wanted to. Alright, so we've got Dark Master Gandling. Let's see a bone pile. So take out the summoners. What does the bone pile do? Oh, just a bone armor, I suppose. Cool. It's always nice to have a little bit of extra protection. Finish off the last of the summoners. And again, as you can see, looking at the character, right? This, these are the, the better armors, the better looking things in the game. And away goes Gandling, running away like a little sissy. Where did I put my fan of blades? Or maybe I'm not paying attention to the changes for the beta, and fan of blades doesn't exist anymore. That's entirely possible. Ah, uh, there we go. Fan of knives. Down you go. Excellent. And rattle gore. For those of you who remember the original, this is where you would get some of your shadowcraft pieces. Good old rattle gore. He is not my favorite, though. I gotta say. He used to hit really hard. No loot on that one, at least for the time being. Crestinovium Carver. Oh! Oh, excellent! I'm gonna skip past as much of this as I can. But this is really cool. Krastinov was a boss, sort of a mini boss, in the original version of this. And he was supposed to be quite vicious. So he had his room was sort of like this. This is actually a very similar room to one of the others that we went through back in the old days. And he had the pieces of meat and stuff on the ground. It was, it was supposed to be gross, I suspect. So Lillian Voss again. And Gandling. So, hmm, are we going to be fighting her? Yes, I suspect so. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are. It's fantastic because I haven't actually gone through and done any of my talent stuff yet. This is kind of looking like... Oh. What's she transforming into? Ah, she attacked him, so she broke free of the spell. And we've got a really cool looking loot box, but nothing in it. 
Leave me to die alone. I shall. So that's why my, my damage would be considered to be very poor at the moment. Because I haven't done any talents. But, of course, you don't need to do any talents when you're doing a, an old instance. Professor Slate. Hmm. Potions Master. Seems like a Harry Potter reference to me. We don't really have much in the way of mini-map stuff right now. There's a couple of pieces here and there. But most of it's just the, the green nastiness. We're probably getting to be almost done. I've noticed a lot of stuff with how Blizzard changes the way that they're designing these, these different instances. They don't want them to be too long anymore. See, this room this room hasn't changed much. The effect that's going on and maybe the better the better flame effects and a couple of things like that look a bit different. But all of these rooms on the side used to have some sort of a mini-boss in them. So you'd have to kill all them off first before you attacked him. Let's see what he does. Aggro placeholder. Come on, do something cool. Or is he just not done yet? He's just gonna stand there. All right, he's just gonna stand there and cast the same stuff. Well, that's too bad. Oh well. I suspect being as all those doors just opened, it's probably very similar to what he used to do which was teleport you in behind into one of these rooms, you get a bunch of mobs to fight, and then the door opens. But of course, it has to let you out in case the boss is killed while you're in, while you're in there killing stuff itself. Pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying this one. This is going to be a lot of fun to do in the, uh, the level 90 heroic version. This has been Tarmac with the Gnomecast. Cheers.